Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to be solving a question of uh, circular measure. And this is a past paper question. It's from the year May, June 2016, paper 2, variant 2. Okay, so one thing to remember before you start is to, although in some cases you will get away with it, but whenever you're solving a circular measure question, it's always best to put your calculator in radian mode right away. Or whenever you're solving a trigonometry question in which the range is given to you in the form of, uh, in radian form, then it's best for you to put your calculator in radian mode from that point. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Uh, here's uh, part one, which says, explain why theta must be greater than one radian. Okay, now, and this is a one mark question. So let's see what logical explanation we can come up with. In fact, uh, let's read the question before that. Uh, it says the diagram shows a sector of a circle with center O and radius five centimeter. The length of the arc AB is seven centimeter. Okay, so the length of the arc AB is seven centimeter. All right, so if let's say that the, that radian, that, that theta is indeed equal to one, let's see what happens. So we all know that the formula for calculating the Rad, uh, the say, the arc length is s is equals to r theta in radian form okay so when r is equal to 5 and let's say theta is equals to 1 okay in that case the arc length equals to 5 so but we we can see that the question categorically says that the length of the arc ab is 7 centimeter which means that the radian has to be greater than 1 okay so here's what we're going to say we're going to say that arc length is greater than the radius therefore therefore theta must be greater than one radian okay so that's the answer to the first part Let's move on to part two. Part two is asking you to find the value of theta. Again, that's a no brainer. S is equals to R theta. You just have to remember the formula. So S right here is seven, R is five, theta, we don't know, but it's only a matter of time before you figure it out. Theta is equals to seven upon five. So that means seven upon five, that's equal to 1.4 radian. Yeah, so you get two marks for that. Seven divided by five is 1.4, although I'm pretty confident, but yeah, just to be sure. Okay. So calculate the area of sector A O B. Okay, so area of sector, okay? Don't uh, confuse yourself and think that this, it's asking you for the area of triangle because if you just look at A O B, then you might think it, it's asking you for the area of triangle, but it's not. It's a, it categorically says area of sector A O B, okay? So area of sector, well, there are, there are two formulas for calculating area of sector. One is A is equals to half R square theta, but if, you scrape off the r and theta and replace and turn that into s since s is basically equal to r theta then you get another formula for calculating the area so i'm going to go with this formula because uh, in fact sorry uh, it's half r s sorry not not half r theta yeah so i'm going to go with the second formula reason for that is because radius was initially given to us and arc length was also given to us so we're going to be using the original set of values so it's going to be half times five times seven. So five times seven is 35, 35 divided by two is, let's work it out, 35 divided by two, 17.5. So 17.5 centimeter squared, yeah, 17.5 centimeter squared. Okay, so, so far so good. Part four, which says calculate the area of the shaded segment. Okay, so you can't have like a head-on approach for this question because if it were asking you for the area of the sector or triangle, in that case, we can have a head-on approach, but when it's asking you for area of shaded region, so you can't just obtain the shaded region right away. You there are There's something you need to figure out first and then from it, you need to subtract something else. So you need to first break it down and explain to yourself or like think to yourself that how exactly am I gonna obtain the shaded region theoretically, okay? Don't dive into the calculations right away, but first understand the theoretical aspect of it. Okay, so if you and I want to find out the area of shaded region, let me clear this up. So the first thing we need is the area of sector, okay? Area of the larger shape, basically. So luckily, the question has already made us figure that out, okay? So we don't need to worry about how exactly we're gonna get our hands on it. So I'll just write it over here, that area of shaded region is basically going to be equal to area 
of sector, okay? I mean, this is something that we need to figure out, okay? It's not gonna be equal to the area of sector, but it's something that you and I need to figure out before we can get our hands on the area of the shaded region. Now, from it, we need to subtract something. Now, what is that something that we need to subtract? Let's focus on that. So from it, we need to subtract the area of the triangle, okay? So I'm gonna write over here, minus area of triangle. All right, now let's see how we can get the area of sector. In fact, I just mentioned we already have the area of sector, so it's 17.5, nothing to worry about. Now, as far as area of triangle goes, in order to calculate the area of triangle, there's a formula that we know half into base into height, but we're not, we don't necessarily have to use that formula because we have two sides. Since it's a sector, the other length is going to be the radius, which is going to be five. And we have an included angle, which is theta. The question made us figure that out at the very beginning. And that was 1.4. Okay, so that means we can use the formula half times A times B times sine C. And C is basically the included angle, which is 1.4, as I just mentioned. Now, let me switch to black. So 17.5 stays where it is. Nothing to worry about. 0.5 times 5 times 5 into sine 1.4. Now remember, at this point, make sure that you have already converted your calculator in radian mode. So this turns out to be 12.318, okay? But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 17.5 minus answer. So I'm gonna use my answer key. Let me show you, hope you can see it, yeah. 17.5 minus answer, so that gives me 5.18, okay? So I'm gonna stick to three significant figures, and if I do that, 5.18 is the final answer. So 5.18 centimeter square. Okay. So this was a question worth two, two, four, six, seven. So seven healthy marks. Okay. And there you go. We've solved it. It was a relatively easy question. I'm not going to say it was a difficult question, but yeah, I think on a scale of one to 10, this was probably like a four on 10. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.